We were approached by the States of Guernsey to renovate the Crest because it's been a number of years since it's been done. It's looking a bit sad. <sighs> but it was pretty rusty, um, but the colours, some of the colours were still quite strong. The gold was quite good uh, because gold won't tarnish. We've made arrangements for it to be taken down. There's other work going on there at times, so it's perfect timing to work on it. It was a bit of a game because it's so heavy, which surprised us because it's cast iron, but we managed to get it down. It's in the workshop and we're renovating. The gold leaf is 23 carat. 23 carat gold. It's, you yeah. know, it's a, a real craft to be able to use that kind of material. How rare is it to have those skills in Guernsey? There's not many of us left. I mean, it's traditional sign writing skills, which is how I trained, sort of started back in the 70s, um, a proper apprenticeship. Uh, but it's, it's a bit of a dying art now, there's not many of us left. We would use gold leaf on lettering, particularly jewellery shops, things like that, which we can still do. Uh, but a lot of it has moved forward now, it's all digital, everything's printed. Uh, but it's still nice to get the brushes out occasionally. So tell us what you're going to do here then. Um, well, this is part of the, the crest uh, that needs to be gilded. So you're just transferring it off the paper onto the tacky paint underneath? You're a natural. Hmm. Maybe it's a new skill, <laughs> new work. You still do apprenticeships? <laughs> <laughs> How much pleasure do you personally get from working on something like this? Oh, it's fantastic. I love it. It's, um, yeah, bring out the old skills that not many people use anymore and the fact that I think I get pleasure because you can't, or not many people do it, and people take a real interest. In the years to come, when you walk past the States building, when that's back up on the wall, how will you feel looking up at it, knowing that you perhaps are the last person for 50 years to see it up close and personal? Oh, I do get a kick. Yeah, I do get a kick out of it. I mean, it's, um, some of the old signs I've done are still around from 30, 40 years ago. So my grandson, Teddy, who was born about a week ago, he'll be able to look at it when, when he's my age. Dave's work fits into the long history of the Royal Court building, which wasn't constructed until the late 1700s, and the first states meeting here wasn't until January 1803. If you look at some of these early pictures of the states building, this one from 1830, there is no royal crest where it is now, only the stone carving at the top of the building. So too in the Victorian era, no cast iron royal crest there above the door. In fact, it's not until much later, in 1960, that the Royal Arms was removed from Belvoir House on Glatany Esplanade, refurbished and added to the Royal Court building here in St Peter Port. So really, Dave is one of just a handful of people ever to get the chance to work on this Bailiwick artefact. Do you have a sense about how long it's been since someone did what you're doing? Well, initially I thought it was about 30 years. I think it could easily be 50 years since it was worked on to this degree. And it should last for another 50. Delighted with the way it looks. Absolutely fantastic compared to the state it was in when we took it down. Um, it's been a lot of work. And it's taken quite a long time, but it's really worth it. You do get a little bit blasé about some of the jobs we do. But I have to say, that's a, yeah, to do that is really special. You know, it's such an important building for Guernsey and it's so prominent and it looks so much better than it did before, so we're really pleased. Mm -hmm.